Hi, this is Rob from the Bob Sphere, and I judge the book prize. Yes, this is the book two prize. Since I have a channel, I was able to apply. I'm glad I did. It was a lot of fun. All the books came on time, and there was no stress. Everything was done in a very calm way. Despite the problems I've had with mail, everything was okay. Okay, let's let's um, let me explain how it works. So what you do is you apply for the prize, and if you get selected, I got selected for the Octo Finals, then you get a group with the list of novels you have to read, and you read them, and then you rank them from one to six. One is your favorite, six is the, the weakest. And well, I had three of the novels already, so that was good. And then the remaining four I ordered. And well, actually, one of those four was given to me very kindly by the publisher. And that will get an official review on the blog. Okay, so let's start in alphabetical order. Roman Alam, Leave the World Behind. Aquaki Emezi, The Death of Vivek Oji. Jennifer Nansabuga Makumbi, The First Woman. Sigrid Nunes, What Are You Going Through? Maggie O'Farrell, Hamnet. Yeah, I got a really good selection, I can't complain. Paul Yoon, Run Me to Earth. Okay, so now we're gonna go backwards. The ones I like the least to my favorites. Okay, so this one I like the least. Uh, it's about two orphans wandering around Laos, encountering many of the dangers on their way. Frankly, I did not like the writing style, I found it really boring, characters did not interest me, the historical setting did not interest me. Sorry, but if you hear that, that's my stomach growling. Nah, this for me was the one and only dud, you can say. The next one I did not like, but I won't call it a failure. I wouldn't call it failure, but I did not like it. This is Leave the World Behind by Roman Alam. It's really overrated. It was a, I, I had, no, I had high expectations. I never do with a book. But with all the hype, I thought it would live up to it just a little bit. Not at all. Writing is bad. Very lazy. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the only thing that you know kind of says it is, is that there isn't any closure and even that's not done properly so what's it about it's about a family that go to a summer house and bad things start happening um there's a, some if you can see there's deer there's a lot of those there's one scene where a ton of deer are crowding it's like the world is ending and all the signs are there i mean there's disease pustules fighting and everything I already said what I thought about it. This ranked number five. Now for number three. Now the remaining four books, so for me they're all good. So. Remaining three. Um, four. So number, we said eight, seven, six, four, three. Oh, I get, you know, I get mixed up in numbers, so let's leave that. Anyway, so this is the next one. There's six. Six books. So sorry. I thought it was eight. Okay, so number three is what are you going through? It's good. I enjoyed her pre Sigrid Nunez's Nunes previous novel, The Friend. This is more or less in the similar vein, but it's looser. Let's say where the friend was tight and all of its ideas were or put together nicely. This is baggy and it goes all over the place and it winds like a road. I didn't mind that at all. I did not mind that at all. Okay, so this is about a person who's... Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't mind. Um, this is about uh, a person who's visiting her friend and she says that she, she wants... who's dying and she wants to change her way of living. And she says she promises that it'll be fun. So basically what this person does is move from the hospital and live with the narrator. And I wouldn't say they have adventures. But they do things. Um, they, they talk about life and experience things. But it's a book of two halves. The first half is very random. It's just like any thought comes in, she, she thinks about it, and she blurts it out. 
and then it leads to a, a slightly tighter story. It's good, but not as good as The Friend. So that ranks three. Now, let's see. So, is that three? Oh, I get so mixed up with numbers. I've got this calculator. And numbers are all squiggly masses in my head, so I, I'm really bad at that. So, so this would be six, five, four. That's it. Now this is three. That's it. Okay. So, three. I bet you thought it was going to be the death of Vivica OG. Just wait, that's going to be a surprise. So, Thrones Hamlet. I'm, I've spoken about Hamlet many times. For me, this is a perfect novel. It's about um, the death of Shakespeare's son, but it's through the eyes of his wife. It's brilliant. It's heartbreaking. It's a, it's a great book about grief. It's perfect. Again, I've spoken about this a lot of times, so no need to go into it. Number two is this one. Death of Vivek and OG. Now, I did not like Akweke Mezi's first novel, Freshwater. I did not like it at all. This I really, really enjoyed. It is absolutely brilliant. So Akweke Mezi proved that they can write a uh, an accessible novel, and they managed completely. So what's it about? It's about this person called Vivek Oji who dies, and narrators, you know, I wouldn't say narrator, yeah, the different narrators try to trace the actions that led to this death. It's about gender. It's very topical for these times. It's about the fluidity of gender. That's all I'll say really really good it's well written another perfect novel great stuff and number one as you can guess was which was also my number one book of 2020 is the first woman i've spoken about this a million times i'm not going to go into it it's just that everyone should read this it'll change your life okay so now the I think the quarterfinals, I don't know, the sixth round, I don't know what's next now. Now there's going to be a series of rounds. I'm going to apply for each of them. If I get them, then I'll read the books, no problem. Now post has improved, so there's nothing to worry about. We'll see. If not, I'm going to go next year. Next year there's going to be a new there's going to be a new category, which will be translated fiction, but I'm going to stick with normal fiction. You know you know what I mean. Fiction written originally in English. I have nothing wrong and nothing wrong with translated novels. Okay, um, that's it. Tomorrow I'll be posting a wrap-up video. Okay, see you then. Bye.